Hey guys, what's going on? So today is going to be sort of a once in a lifetime type of a video. <laughs> today I'm going to be comparing this new pickup here. These are my Truman boots in Squirrel Rambler. And I'm going to be comparing this boot to my Truman boots in China Blue Waxy Commander. Before I get started, I just realized that my shirt is the same color as the boots. All right, well, that's less awkward. Okay, so speaking of matching, so I had this pair of China Blue Waxy Commander Truman boots. These are in a size nine, and I love these boots. They are beautiful. They're that nice powder blue or sky blue type color. Really nice color. I'm a sucker for blue, and I really think they look fantastic with the gold eyelets and these blue rawhide laces from Guarded Goods. The problem was, and... This was the similar problem to my, my pair in Gaucho Moosehide, is I got them, I tried to make them work, but to be honest, they just ended up being just a little bit too big. If you collect trim boots, then you know that the back heel counter here is is pretty generous. I realized that even though these are in, a, in an unstructured toe, so that reduces the volume in the toe box by just a little bit, they're still just a little much for my foot type. So I decided during the, the Truman Black Friday sale, they did a, a deal where you spend $300 and you get a $100 gift card. So I decided maybe it's time for some spring cleaning. Maybe it's time to sell these off and to buy the buy this pair, a similar color in the right size. So that's what I did. I bought these Squirrel Ramblers in size 8.5D. These have the structured toe and uh, I haven't even worn them yet. I haven't even laced them up yet, but I know for a fact that this is my right size. This is just after collecting Truman for a while. I've gone back and forth with sizing just because the structured toe box does add a lot of volume to the inside of the boot. And so where that works out for me well, when I wear, for instance, Alden and Viberg, they have the collapsed toe box. Like I can wear an eight and a half in those and it doesn't bother me at all. They're, they they fit perfectly. They're generous without being too big. But the problem is, is when you get more of a structured toe going on, it adds more volume. And and that's where I run into issues with the sizing because if it's if it ends up being too big it's just too big it's nice to have this color of Truman's now in my right size and I will be selling these off but what's interesting to compare between these two is these are actually two completely different builds of Truman boots the toe here the arch of it it's taller almost raises up a bit more as you can see the unstructured toe kind of sits a slightly more flat down on the desk compared to the structured toe, it's it's much more raised and yeah, a lot more volume in here as compared to the collapsed toe. What's also to note is here we have all gold eyelets and here we have gold eyelets with gold speed hooks. I prefer speed hooks. I know a lot of guys don't. I know a lot of guys prefer the all eyelets, the look of it. And what else is good is you can get down on the ground and like sit on your boot and you don't have to worry about bending the eyelets. That's one thing, like when I'm getting down on the ground, if I sit on my foot, it can lead to the eyelets bending, especially on my Aldens. My Aldens, those bend, those clamp down all the time. They, they bend down and you just have to bend them back. So it's not, it's not a big deal. I think that's partially why a lot of guys prefer the all eyelets all the way up. So yeah, here we have seven eyelets all the way up. And here we have five eyelets, two speed hooks. So that's one difference. Two, obviously the leathers are not identical. The Squirrel Rambler is more of a vibrant blue. It's more of a sky blue, I would say, whereas the Waxy Commanders are more of a powder blue. The other glaring difference is the Squirrel Ramblers are built on a Goodyear welt. The Waxy Commanders are built on a stitch down welt. And you can see that in the toe area most prominently I believe both are 270 degree welted. Yeah, they're both 270 degrees, which means the welt starts here, goes all around here and stops. And so the heel isn't welted. Same with this pair. The welt starts right here, goes all the way around, all the way around to here, right about here that's where it's gonna stop. And then, so the heel is unwelted. So that's what a 270 degree welt is. You probably see the difference in the welts there. Goodyear welt versus stitch down welt. The other big difference is the sole. Here we have a day-night studded sole. I think I said that right this time. Day-night sole, day-night studded sole versus, this is an It's Hide Lug Commando sole. And it's lug because it's got these really deep tread on it to, you know, better grip the ground. So yeah, so that's that's mainly the difference. And I, I really just wanted to get these two boots together because I guarantee you, 
there won't be too many opportunities to see these two leathers next to each other in the wild. They're so similar, and they're very similar to the feel as well. The Waxy Commander is a micro suede, whereas the Rambler is a waxed um, flesh. This China Blue Waxy Commander is very waterproof. That's the other thing. They're both sourced from the Charles F. Zed tannery, which is really neat. The, the leathers are just completely different. All right, so here's the right boot. So as you can see, the, uh, the toe here is substantially shorter. This toe extends a little bit further. And this one, since being in an eight and a half, it's gonna be shorter and a little, little bit more narrow. Not a huge difference, but it's gonna make all the difference when I start, when I actually wear them. And Nick at Stridewise, he actually mentioned this because he has a pair of Trumans too. He did a review on his Trumans. And, and he mentioned, you know, he, he likes how they size. The heel is so generous that you wanna be, you wanna be cognizant of that. When I contrast these heels against my, my Grantstone heels, my Grantstone heels are more narrow. They, they hug your ankle here. They like hug in. Whereas this pair does not. It's kind of like very bulbous back here, very generous fitting. So, so keep that in mind as well for sizing considerations. I'm happy I finally got the right size. These are gonna be going up on eBay, size nine. Um, I'm gonna include the date. So if you're checking this video out and it's you know five years after I made the video, they're probably not on sale anymore. So, so anyways, so let me read a little bit about this pair of Trumans. Again, this is called Squirrel Rambler. I don't know where they got the term squirrel actually because to me it, that's not indicative of any sort of blue so i'm not sure why quite how they chose the name for squirrel rambler so rambler leather is from charles f stead tannery in, in leeds uk it features natural textures of the flesh side of the hide finished with a wax blend for a unique natural aesthetic featuring a deep color and rugged texture yes that's part of what i love about it is when you get really up close and personal with this texture it is it is something to look at let me tell you what so yeah so we have cap toe matching tongue which is good i like that i like that they didn't do a contrasting tongue on this pair it really brings out that blue you know that that blue that you, the whole reason you got the this boot for it also has the tongue to complement it in the same color so that's good five eyelets two speed hooks polished brass hardware so polished brass is probably a term that's interchangeable with gold because I have another pair with brass eyelets that are, you know, the brass is a lot more muted, a lot more earthy tone, much less bright, much less vibrant, much less of a contrast against the, the upper. So we got structured toe box, like I talked about here, 270 degree Goodyear storm welt. I don't know if I could point it out very easily, but it's right next to the welt. It's like this barrier that kind of kind of comes up right here. That's called a storm welt. I think it's cool that they included the storm welt on that. Being that these are stitched down, obviously a storm welt would be impossible because the upper just attaches to the sole and it's stitched down right there. So there'd be no way to pull off a storm welt. Whereas with the Goodyear welt, it's pretty easy to pull off. So I, I, again, I really like that Truman made the switch from, from stitched down to Goodyear welt. I think that was a good move and it's easier for them. It's easier to build the boot with a Goodyear welt. So Charles F. Stead Tannery, Leeds, UK, established, okay. So a little bit about the Waxy Commander leather here. So it says that it's fully waterproof suede. It's made to shrink during the tanning process. The size of the hides are reduced by up to 25%. It's fully waterproof, Gore-Tex compliant, the characteristics are a smooth suede finish with a tight green texture with minimal stretch increasing. It's extremely durable and one of the easiest leathers to clean and care for that we are running. The leather is tanned in the UK by what can easily be described as the best suede tannery in the world, the Charles F. Stead Tannery. It is the only suede tannery used by Truman Boot Company. So, so yeah, so that's a little bit about the Maxi Commander versus the Rambler leather. So that's, that's about all I had to say. Again, I wanted to compare these two and sort and, and just show, you know, how similar they might look in terms of color, but how really different they truly are when you really look at the, at the build and the construction. And again, I'm so happy that Truman has switched to Goodyear Welt because that means that they're much more affordable, you know, these, these I wanna say were like 560 originally, whereas these were like four, this new pair, 440. I mean, that's, that's basically 20% less right there. I mean, uh, that's, that, to me, that's a huge savings. I think that's just excellent. And it makes it easier to, you know, if I, could, if I have a pair where the sizing is a little off, 
I can exchange it. It's not the end of the world. You know, I'll sell these for, you know, probably a third of what I bought them for. And, and, and that'll be that. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, this has been a fun video to make. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is aerosurferlv. You can track how these patina and I'll be announcing the sale of these here shortly. Feel free to leave a comment. We'll keep the discussion rolling. And uh, anyways, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.